Welcome to our first online celebration event for the Coventry Inspiration Book Awards 2020. We have put together comments and videos from some of the schools and students who took part in this year's book awards, as well as fabulous video messages from some of the winning authors. We hope you enjoy the show. Our first category is What's the Story, which celebrates great picture books for children aged four to seven. Here is the fantastic shortlist that the children read, talked about, commented on and voted for. And our winning book was Ten Fat Sausages, written by Michelle Robinson and illustrated by Tor Freeman. The children of Cannon Park Primary School would like to tell you more about why this was their favourite read, followed by a thank you message from the author. Hi everyone, it's Miss Cleveland from Cannon Park Primary School. There were some absolutely amazing books this year on the Coventry Inspiration Book Awards What's the Story shortlist. But our Year One class's favourite was Ten Fat Sausages by Michelle Robinson and Tor Freeman. So I'm going to hand over to them for them to tell you what they liked about it most. It was really funny, all of it was. <laughs> My favourite part was when I'm on a beach. One went pop oh. and the other went hang on a minute. <laughs> I, I won't I won't go bang. I won't go pop. And sausage number eight went. Oh, 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 oh. I like when the sausages went bang. I think it's funny because the uh, escape plan failed. failed. The sausage diving into the blender thinking it was going to be safe. <laughs> when the cat came looking at a bit of the sausage. Four ten fast sausages was really funny because at the end the two sausages thought they were going to escape but they didn't. I think it's safe to say that Year One loved Ten Fat Sausages and if I'm not mistaken there were a couple of voices in there that were a little bit too old for Year One as well. Now, I know this book's been read over and over in our Year One class and I'd like to say thank you to them for all of their lovely comments and the illustrations that they've done to accompany this video. And I think that just leaves one thing left to say. Hello, I'm Michelle Robinson, author of Ten Fat Sausages. I just wanted to say thank you to any of you who voted for Ten Fat Sausages in the Coventry Inspiration Book Awards. That's really cool. That's really nice that you voted and chose it as your favourite. Um, there were some brilliant books, weren't there? Aren't books amazing? Isn't it fun to still have books to read even when we've been stuck at home during lockdown? I know I've needed books to escape. Um, so can't wait to go back to the library. I can't wait to come up and see you all in Coventry at some point because it's a shame we can't all be together to celebrate the book awards because they're so much fun. Maybe next time, maybe next year. I'm carrying on writing lots of books so who knows, maybe another one of my books will be a favourite of yours in the future. Um, might be, mightn't it? I'm doing this one at the minute about dragons. So yeah, that would be fun. Sausages and dragons. Maybe I should think up a story about that. Do think up stories at home. I know that's what the library service is great for, um, helping you discover new books and have adventures that take you beyond your four walls. Um, so yeah, do keep enjoying your reading, keep it up. Uh, and thank you again for including Ten Fat Sausages in the Inspiration Book Awards. And well done to everyone who read the books and all the other authors and illustrators whose books uh, were in the shortlist because they were really cool. Um, take care of yourselves. Thanks again, and I hope to see you all soon. Bye! Our next category is Telling Tales, books for children aged 7 to 9. This is an important stage when you can find out what sort of books you enjoy, which often helps you become a much more confident reader. Here is the brilliant shortlist, which as you can see, covered many different genres, formats and styles.
And our winning book was The Legend of Kevin, written and illustrated by Philip Reeve and Sarah McIntyre. Here are just two of the comments we had from children who voted in their hundreds for Kevin to win. Philip and Sarah were thrilled to win their Coventry Inspiration Book Award and we hope to be able to add a video message from them soon. It is also nice to hear from teachers as to how they use the book awards in their schools. There are many different approaches and Mrs Grewell from Stoke Heath Primary School shares hers with us here. Our third category is Hooked on Books for ages 9 to 13, which covers that crucial stage of transition from primary to secondary school. The books on this year's shortlist featured everything from aliens taking over your school to a murder mystery via time travel and spies in World War II. And our winning book was The Middler, written by Kirsty Applebaum. Next we have a message from the children of Stoke Heath Primary on why they voted for this book, followed by a video from Cannon Park Primary on why they wanted the Middler to win. Finally, we have a lovely thank you message from the author herself. We would like to congratulate Kirsty Applebaum for being the deserving winner of this year's Country Inspirational Book Awards. There were many books in the Hooked on Books category we enjoyed, but we can completely understand why this book took first place. We really liked the characters' personalities and how even though Maggie became friends with the Wanderer, she still sought her out. The intensity and suspense towards the end when the house was burning down and Trig ran in there to say a picture of Jed, thinking he'd never return, was gripping. From the beginning of the book, we didn't want to put it down. There was always more pieces of the puzzle we wanted to find out. It was certainly a captivating read. Hi everyone, Miss Cleveland from Cannon Park Primary here with my Year 5 and 6s to talk about The Middler by Kirsty Applebaum and why it was such an inspiring book in the Hooked on Books category this year. What we do at Cannon Park is look at the cover and the blurb and the first chapter and we vote at each stage to find out which book inspires us the most and that can change depending on whether it's the cover, the blurb or the first chapter we're looking at. And some children who didn't like the cover might love the blurb and first chapter and go on to read more. The Midler was joint favourite in Year 5 after we'd done this, but it didn't take long to see it nudge into top position in the weekly votes as children read more. I'm going to hand over to them for them to tell you why. The book that most inspired me to read was The Midler because it looks like a mysterious book to read. Also, the cover is dark and gloomy and makes me want to read the book because it looks so interesting to read. The blur from the mid Midler was most inspiring because it didn't ruin it while it sounded like a chunk from the book itself. Our eldest, Jed, got born first out of all of us. Our youngest, Trig, he got born four years later. And me, Maggie, I was in between. The Midler, worse luck. I really enjoyed the first chapter of The Midler because it was kind of gruesome and mysterious and it was mysterious and adventurous. Maggie is the middle of the family, worse luck. Jed was born first and destined to fight in the quiet war for his city. Trig was born last. Maggie the middler got no praise or prizes. When she goes to the border she meets a wanderer. Maggie has been taught to stay away from wanderers that are they are dirty, deceitful and dangerous. My favourite character is Mag Maggie because she cares about other people, not just herself. She doesn't let anyone or anything get in her way. I like the bit when Una and Maggie became friends again because I feel like like the message is that you can be friends no matter who you are or what you are. As mesmerising as it is menacing, the middle is dark, dystopian fiction full of family, friendship and fighting truths. Kirsty creates a sinister shadowy world built on propaganda and greed. 
And the winner of this year's Hooked on Books category is The Middler by Kirsty Applebaum. Yeah! Congratulations, Kirsty! It's easy to see the children adored The Middler. Kirsty, thank you so much for writing a book that has inspired them all to read. Hi everyone, I'm Kirsty Applebaum, author of The Midler. I was absolutely over the moon to hear that The Midler had won the Hooked on Books category of the Coventry Inspiration Book Award this year. It's a real shame we can't all be together for a celebration event, but fantastic that we have technology so we can have a virtual celebration instead. I'm going to tell you a little bit about The Midler and then I'm going to tell you a couple of interesting facts about it as well. So The Midler tells the story of 11 year old Maggie Cruz who is a middle child and she lives in a town where only the eldest children are considered special. And also Maggie's town which is called Fenniswick has a boundary all the way around it and no one is allowed out and no one's allowed in. But near the beginning of the book, Maggie meets someone, a stranger from outside of the town, right down near the town boundary, right on the edge of the town. And um, she starts to question everything she's ever been told. So I've got a couple of interesting facts you might like to know about The Midler. Um, the first is that it's based on, the setting is based on my own childhood setting. So when I was five, we moved to Hampshire and we moved to a place called Oliver's Battery, right on the edge of Oliver's Battery, or Oliver's Battery really was right on the edge of a beautiful area of countryside called Compton Down, full of um, meadows and butterfly fields, just like the countryside that Maggie plays in. Uh, I went back recently in the sunshine, just like in the Midler, and I've got a photo, so I thought I'd show you this photo. This is a photo of Compton Down, and this is where I played as a child and where I imagine Maggie and her brothers playing. So this path here, you can just imagine Maggie running along this path um, to go out to the boundary at the edge of their town. So my second interesting fact about the Midler is that it wasn't always called The Midler and it wasn't always um, written from a middle child's point of view. In fact, when I first wrote The Midler, I wrote it from an eldest child's point of view and I wrote quite a lot. I wrote 40,000 words from an eldest child's point of view and um, it wasn't quite working. I wasn't really happy with it and suddenly I had a moment of inspiration and I remembered an exercise that we'd done in an English class at school where we'd switched point of view and I thought I could do that with this book and suddenly I thought I'm going to write this from the middle child's point of view. I started rewriting it, I had a new title, I had a new opening and I really found that voice of Maggie, the middle child and that's when it became The Midler. So I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has taken part in the Book Award this year and a huge thank you to everyone who voted for The Midler but also a huge thank you to everyone who voted for all the other fantastic books as well. I really hope you enjoyed it and keep reading. Bye! Our next category is Simply the Book, which highlights a great selection of young adult fiction for those aged 13 plus. This is our shortlist, which shows the great variety of books for this age group. We have everything from horror to humour, dystopian future to true life. Just take your pick. And our winning book was Chinglish by Sue Chung. Not only is this book funny, moving and gripping, it is also set in Coventry, as this is where the author lived during her teenage years. We have a wonderful review by Fury from Caledon Castle School and an amazing thank you message from Sue. As a reader who has a family member who can relate to the character's struggles with language means that this book really connected with my family and I. Reading it with my mum brought us lots of laughter and enjoyment but also real conversations on some of the topics. 
It has definitely brought us closer together, and this book, as childish as it seems at first glance, is a great read for anyone who is curious about other cultures and wants to educate themselves, as well as having a good laugh on top of that. Hi everyone, lovely to meet you at last. My name is Sue Chung and I'm the author and illustrator of Chinglish. And I'm here to say a massive thank you to all the amazing people who voted for my book and made it winner of the Simply the Book category. Yay! I am absolutely chuffed to bits because as you know, Coventry was my hometown and that is where Chinglish is set. So my total appreciation goes out to all the readers, you're absolutely fab, and also to Coventry Inspiration Book Awards for this wonderful news. Oh, and one more thing, sending you all my love. Our final category is Rapid Reads, which is a wonderful selection of quick read or shorter books for ages 11 to 16. Ideal for when you're short on time but still want to be immersed in a great story. As you can see from our shortlist, this collection of books is a real mix with graphic novels, poetry, spooky ghost stories and laugh out loud funny. And our winning book was Toad Attack, written by Patrice Lawrence and illustrated by Becca Moore. Ishal from Cardinal Wiseman School is going to tell us why she thinks that Toad Attack deserved to win the award. Hello everyone, my name is Ishal and today I'm going to be telling you about the book called Toad Attack. I read this book as part of Karna Wiseman's book club activity to help judge the Coventry Inspiration Book Awards. First of all, I would like to congratulate the author of Toad Attack, Patrice Lawrence. Her books have encouraged children of all ages to read more and Toad Attack is one of her many best-selling books for ages 6 to 10, but is a thrilling read for anyone. I read this to my little sisters and they enjoyed every single bit of it. My favourite part was when the toads took over the school. It was funny because they were quite small, but they could still manage to take over many parts, including the school. This was a fun and easy to read book and I really, really enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Bye. Cannon Park Primary School have been using the Book Awards right across their school this year, getting all the children involved. And they would like to tell us why taking part in the Book Awards has made such a difference to their children's reading. Hi, my name's Miss Cleveland and I'm the HLTA and School Librarian at Cannon Park Primary School and I'm here to tell you today just how important the Coventry Inspiration Book Awards are to our school and encouraging reading for pleasure across all of the age groups. But first I'm going to hand over to our Deputy Head to tell you how he thinks this year's awards have gone. Participating in the Coventry Inspiration Book Awards has been a great way to engage children in their reading. Sometimes children have a tendency to read the same types of books, the same types of authors, uh, but through the Coventry Inspiration Book Awards, they have been exposed to new authors, and as a result, many children have enjoyed books they wouldn't normally have tried. Children have been happy to share their thoughts and opinions about their favourite books. There's definitely been a real buzz about reading in the school this year. Thank you very much, Mr Ray. And now, I'm gonna hand over to Mrs Amplett, our Year Two teacher, who's going to tell you why the youngest category, What's the Story, is such an enjoyable category to follow. It is always so exciting to be involved in sharing the Coventry Inspiration Book Award stories with the children in my Year 2 class. The stories that are chosen are always so interesting and it's particularly great that they are all so different. It's really wonderful to read stories by a range of different authors and covering a variety of story topics and writing styles. We always have lots of favourites amongst myself and the children, but that is part of the fun. We can't all like the same thing. Of course, the best part about it is how excited the children get. They can't wait to read the stories and they love to vote for our class favourites. Seeing how much they are inspired and how much they enjoy reading and listening to the stories that's what makes me really proud. Thank you, Mrs. Amphlett. From my perspective as school librarian, it's been amazing this year running Coventry Inspiration Book Awards as a whole school, rather than just small book clubs in each year group. 
to have every child in school exposed to such a wonderful range of amazing texts has just been superb. Being able to show them the covers and blurbs, read first chapters and get their opinions helps them to decide what kind of books they actually do enjoy reading and, just as importantly, the ones they don't so that they can choose the books that are going to inspire them to read for pleasure. Having voting queues running out of the library at lunch times has just been astounding. There were lunch times I didn't think I was going to get through all of the children queuing there to vote, but somehow we managed it. Whole School is definitely the way that we're going to be approaching Coventry Inspiration Book Awards from here on in. I'm going to leave the final words on this video to the people that these book awards inspire the most, our children. I like the Coventry Inspiration Book Awards because I get to read it with my friends and find out their different opinions on the books. I liked how we got to hear the first chapter of each book before deciding which one to read in full. I like finding out the new books so I can read them on in the future and buy them. It's made me realise not to judge a book by its cover. So from everyone here at Cannon Park to everyone at Coventry School Library Service, we'd like to say a great big... Bye. Thank you to all the schools who have taken part in this year's book awards and a big thank you to all the pupils, teachers and librarians who contributed to our virtual celebration. We would also like to thank all the authors and illustrators who have kindly sent us their thank you messages and videos. If you'd like to know more about how your school can take part in next year's book awards, please visit our website or contact Coventry School Library Service directly. We hope that you will enjoy the books we've shortlisted for Coventry Inspiration Book Awards 2021.